Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Kiva channel. In this video, we are going to see about uh, API testing, uh, which is like a SOAP API. Uh, so till now we have covered lot of videos uh, with Postman with REST API. So in this video, we are going to cover like how to test SOAP API in Postman. Okay. So from like, uh, I think from last one or two month, uh, Postman started supporting a WSDL file, which is web service description language. So SOAP uh, API which we call so before like before that they were not supporting the uh, supporting a uh, WS, uh, WSDL actually so they were just supporting a rest API and uh, what is this uh, uh, yeah, uh, GraphQL these are all they were supporting so now they have started giving uh, a previous version of API also WSDL okay so let's see uh, how to test it for that we need some uh, uh, public collection WSDL collection so that we will get it from some sample or some public uh, available online that we are going to take it to a postman and see it so already we have covered lot of api and we know about the postman uh, like we can just directly go to a wsdl file so there is a site i have open that like scope ui site only so there is a WS, wsdl uh, api uh, which is based on calculator okay there are maybe something else so i'm going to get this one so i'm uh, no worries i will just post this uh, url in the description also so that you can also practice it okay now let me go to a postman so postman uh, basically you will how you will do like uh, uh, if the rest api you will import right so that's how same thing we have to import here also okay so just go to a collection import we have a link actually just yes even if you have asmx file also after that if you add wsdl that whole collection will be uh, like added here like a rest api collection how we used to do so something like that this is a wsdl once you click on continue it will show calculator collection name okay format is wsdl 1.1 and import as api so once you click there will be a collection called uh, api1 they will be show up in the sidebar calculator okay so it will be added into your uh, collection so this is what uh, we have imported now if you go here all the calls will be just post because uh, always we are going to post uh, data when we are calling something in the body in the format of xml okay even if something is sometime if it is not working just check whether you have raw xml not json or something like that json you will feel like uh, what not a uh, right format but still we are getting a response that is one good thing because it match the format but basically make sure it's xml okay so that you can see the right format if any error also okay that's it like uh, this is how you can write all the api the post data and uh, you will get a response add result the 200 uh, sub multiply multiply these are all simple uh, api they have given so here it is multiply under into hundred thousand so just change it let's see just change something on the uh, just change the value to 200 and run so it will be twenty thousand. okay so this is divide anyway it's same as that and the calculator soap 12 something is there add so what is add this are all addition okay addition subtract multiply uh, just when you are doing it 200 you got a response so this is how the basic format of wsl uh, this is how it look like you need to pass a xml in the body of content so that you will get a response also in the xml format okay so uh, with this what else we can do we can like uh, can we do all the stuff what we are doing in the uh, rest api uh, like even i am just exploring some stuff this is basic one i'm i'm able to get it and you can add uh, some validation something like uh, response code 200 you can add and uh, contain string you can add maybe this multiply uh, result or something you can you can add it here okay so this i will remove paste it here so once i run it i should get a test result status code is 200 body matches string so both are in pass okay so this is how we can add a basic uh, validation also 
and one more validation which is like a uh, value check so this even i was not able to get it because uh, it's like we need we, we are writing here a json path but here we need to write a xml right so that is one thing there is an option called convert xml body to a json object okay this you can uh, obviously do it uh, so this maybe you what you can do you can console log you can just check in the logs okay when you are running after this two validation like you will get a console log also printed in the logs for that you need to go to a show the logs which is like a, a command shift c or something if you enter the logs will be log window will be open okay these are all old one just clear it so when you when you just click it okay these two are pass and uh, log window if you open you can see the uh, data here but still we need some tweak uh, for the validating this key okay so maybe in the next video or something i will try to cover that as well uh, like okay this let me close it so even with this we can create an environment so environment support is available because see you can create a variable of a path now it's added as a global one so it's not running from a local environment that is different okay so you can do that and authorization or if you have something header header files also like everything like similar uh, okay uh, similar like a rest api how you will handle so body of content before when you enter xml it won't support now it is supporting and they are returning the response so how they are doing it's all uh, from the uh, like background they they are aware of it how they have written the logic and all okay so test also we are able to use it okay in the test uh, is there anything related to setting they have changed uh, nothing nothing okay so test whatever you can you just write it okay okay guys uh, thanks for watching video this is just a short video just want to add this also into the playlist of uh, api testing and you will also will be updated that new feature is uh, released with the post one if you already aware of it's great so if you are not aware you also just go and uh, use this sample url and export and explore it okay thanks for watching guys thanks again and uh, if you like my video please subscribe and share with your friends